Now that I have my extraction logic set up, I will go ahead and press the play button to start the extraction. The extraction won't run on the main browser, but on the off-screen ones, which can be viewed at View, Off-screen Browsers. Note that these are just live screenshots of the browsers, so we cannot interact with them, other than by right-clicking them to copy or open their current URL on the main browser. Also, when the extraction started, a new table was created, and named after the global I'm running, which in this case is main2. This table will be populated with extracted data while the extraction runs. Also, note that the columns have been named using the names I gave to the columns in my extract actions. The extraction process is smart enough to detect the type of data our global has. In fact, recall I mentioned before that some actions will keep the previous state untouched and output a value. This also applies to the extract action, which outputs the same state as the action above, coupled with a composite value. This composite value will contain a collection of name value pairs, one for each of the columns we've defined. In this case, the composite value will contain the title, URL, and phone columns, each of them coupled with their respective values. If any of these values contains a nested composite value, the extraction process will put those values into a separate table. Suppose, for instance, that I need to extract the categories inside each business. Since there are many categories per business, I would either need have repeated businesses, or extract all categories into a single cell, if I were to use a single table. But a more elegant way to do it, would be to add a nested extract action here. I will go ahead and add a new column here, which I will call Categories. For the value, I will create a selector that select each of the categories, called Category and then press Enter to add a new placeholder. Now I will add a nested extract action with a single column, which I will call Category Name. And for its value, I will add a gather text action, which will gather the text of the selected category. If I run this now, the target table will be replaced with two tables. The first one will contain one row per business. And the second one will contain one row per category. We can also see these tables as a single one by right-clicking the set of tables, and selecting Join Tables. Note that when we see this as a single table, businesses that have more than one category will show up as repeated. To summarize, every global has a particular type of data, which is given by the last action. If this type is a sequence that contains composite values, such as when the last action is an extract action, the extraction process will extract these values into one or more tables. And the structure of these tables will mirror the structure of the type of data that our global has. In this sense, actions don't actually perform any action themselves. Instead, they are used by the extraction process as directions that point to the location of the desired data. This can be visualized as a tree, representing our global, and the extraction process is climbing this tree, starting at the trunk and visiting all the branches.